Hello, Ben Alexander here. I'm hanging out at the Tampa Bay Solar Warehouse today. Um, I've actually been a part of this company since 2017 and I'm a shareholder, uh, proud to be a shareholder at Tampa Bay Solar. So a lot of the videos that I make on this channel, I talk about electric vehicles, but the statistics I have for you today deal with solar in the United States in 2024. And if you have any interest in green technology at all, I think you'll find these numbers really fascinating. So what I've attempted to do, instead of saying, we installed 50 gigawatts last year. I'm going to break that down into the number of panels. So here goes. In 2024, the U.S. solar industry installed 60 gigawatts with, if, if you do a little bit of math, that's 140 million solar panels if you're using like a 400 watt panel. 140 million. And that's a 21% increase from 2023. So that's pretty interesting because when people say uh, green technology doesn't work or they kind of say EVs don't work or whatever, well, you got to look at the numbers, right? And the numbers don't lie. Uh, domestic solar panel manufacturing grew from 15, 14 gigawatts in 2023 to 50 gigawatts in 2025. So the United States installed about 140 million panels, and we now manufacture about 140 million solar panels here in the United States, mostly uh, companies that were solar panel manufacturing uh, overseas or they had facilities overseas and they built warehouses like Jinko Solar built a large warehouse in Georgia. Uh, quite a few other solar panel companies have looked at these tariffs that are coming up and they said, hey, we're going to manufacture panels in the United States so we can capture that market without a tariff on our panels. So of the 140 million panels, the question arises like, you know, where did they go, right? And uh, Here's a little bit of a breakdown. Six million of those panels were installed on commercial, you know, warehouses, uh, factories, that type of thing. So the commercial solar panel business was around uh, 2,100 megawatts, which is roughly about six million panels. Now, it's hard to say how many commercial facilities that is because I work in commercial and residential solar and some commercial installs are 50 panels and some are 500. But uh, six million panels is a nice round figure across the United States. And then the next largest group that got panels was residential, and that was about uh, 4,700 megawatts, roughly 11 million panels. Now, I know from being in the residential solar business since 2017 that that's, uh, if you do a little bit of math on 11 million panels, that's about 200,000 homes. Two, sounds like a lot, right? 200,000 homes, but consider that there's 81 million single-family homes in the United States. So 200,000 is one-fourth of one percent of the existing homes in the United States. And still, across the United States, we only have about uh, two and a half to three and a half percent penetration in terms of the homes that already have solar. So residential has a long way to go. There were some speed bumps last year. The residential business actually shrank by about 30 percent because there were businesses that, two reasons, there are businesses like Sunrun that declare bankruptcy, and that's never good for business. And then there was also a high interest rates. Basically, the best interest rates you could get for solar without a, a bunch of crazy fees were somewhere around 7.5%. So between that and bankruptcies, a large national solar companies like Sunrun kind of hurt the residential solar business. But last year, there's 140 million panels. So... If 6 million went on homes and 11 million, or, or 6 million went on commercial facilities and 11 million went on homes, where the rest get installed? Well, this is the kicker. This is the one that really kills me. 41 gigawatts of solar was put in by electric companies. All over the United States, electric companies are putting in solar to the tune of about 120 million panels last year. Here in Florida, uh, in Tico's territory, they already have 7 million panels and solar farms. Just south of us, Florida P Power and Light has a 30 by 30 plan where they want to install 30 million panels by 2030. So, 120 million panels installed last year by electric companies. That's really interesting because electric companies have two things. They have really good accountants, really good bean counters, and they also have a bunch of guys who have master's degrees and PhDs in things like electrical engineering. So who understands electric better than your local utility, right? And I have to say that 120 million panels 
installed by electric companies, that's a story that no one's talking about. This is what they're doing. They're putting in these panels today. 2024, 2025 price. It's probably getting a discount because they're putting in hundreds of acres of panels, right? And those panels, realistically, are going to last 35 to 40 years. Right now, standard uh, solar panels that are put in your home or business, they have a 25-year warranty. They're guaranteed to be at 90% in 25 years. Well, we know from data now that panels have been on the roof 35, 40 years are still around 85 to 90%. So these electric companies are really smart. They're using today's dollars and actually charging their customer a little more to put in solar today that they know is going to generate power for two generations. So if you're thinking about solar free home, consider that your your electric company is already charging, has already taken some of your money and putting in their own solar that they own that you're never going to pay off you're going to pay off the solar on your roof, but you're ne you're never going to pay off the solar that the electric company is charging you for. So pretty smart. So that's uh, that's the state of solar in 2024. I mean, literally, of the 50 gigawatts that were installed, uh, 41 and a half gigawatts were electric companies, and that's pr that's probably going to continue. And especially since there's more panel manufacturers here in the United States, I can see tremendous growth as we have panel manufacturers that look at the potential of the market. Because if you think about it, 200,000 homes got solar last year out of 81 million single-family homes. So what's the size of that market? It's huge. There's a lot of opportunities there. So I hope you find this interesting, and if you want to look at solar in this area, uh, give me a call at Tampa Solar. A lot of the numbers that I put in this video are also going to be in the description. Have a blessed day.